Hey, happy Saturday. How are you? So I've been pretty busy. So building the Ryefield models, Panzer III. So I've just put the next fender on. But we've got, uh, with my trench here, we've got, um, so he's going to go down a bit further. So something like that. Have to get him ready as well. Um, put him over there. But we've just added a little bit of um, sort of turf, I suppose. Started to green it up a little bit. And I've also uh, got the border done. I thought I'd get the border done before we start adding all this greenery and um, you know foliage and all this kind of stuff because once you get all the foliage in and stuff it's it's really gonna you know you can't really mask it up so I gave it a nice just black surface I probably should have sanded it better which I will do next time I just got it sort of got stuck in but um it's coming up really nice I haven't decided what I'm going to paint this little part of the border yet. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go black, but I didn't spray it just yet, just in case I wanted to do something different. But it's starting to look really nice. I'm really happy with how it's coming along. And you can see here the darker pigments that I've used creates a sort of more wet, deeper mud look. And it's not so much using colour to create the effect, not um, gloss or actual wetness or whatever which I'm really starting to work out a lot U using colour to create a to trick the eye because I've also been pretty busy I, this is not a model or anything I'm just working on a road for the kids so they can build little roads and race their little cars on it so this is a bend with a concrete barrier and what I like is I've created the texture of the road so the kids, they can feel it, what it feels like and all that kind of stuff. And I just painted some lines on. And that was my experiment one to see. But I learned a lot too, you know, especially about creating concrete barriers and or, or creating the effect of concrete. Um using those resins, mixing um, pigments in with those resins is to go. So you build up this colour resin and um, you can sand it back and it, and it exposes the inner colours and stuff. It's really cool. But that was, a, you know, two birds in one stone. So make the kids happy and also experiment with something I haven't really done yet. So I hope they like it. I'll build some straight sections now. Just um, got some straight sections building. I'm just that's the bottom of it. I, I just put some paint on the bottom of it. But um, yeah, you can see there. That's another part of a road, but just just straight. We'll paint some lines on it, and then that's ready. Got some paint on myself. Yay! But that's what's been going on. Um, yeah, work's been stressful. As, as it usually is. I'm a, man, I'm a man. And I don't have any family connections or whatever in the business. So I'm the slave. Lots of cool stuff. There's more up here as well. Heaps of cool stuff about. Alright guys, I'll speak to you again soon.